Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. Um, I want to make a quick note to you in article um, 334. It talks about NM cable for uses permitted and uses not permitted. It's 334.12. Uh, for uses not permitted, there's a fine little section that if you get the handbook, you barely can see that number two because they split it for most of the article. So hopefully none of you have made this mistake, but I did. Um, I'm so used to a lot of commercial office spaces like this having just basically uh, all MC cable. Well, when I got to this job two months ago, all of the walls were already done with Romex, and they took down a bunch of walls, so I went ahead and did 12-2 Romex through a, the rest of it. That's that NM yellow cable. Um, and then I missed one little paragraph, or one sentence there, so we all make our mistakes, but... Uh, boy, I ate it on this one. I just hope to help some of you other electricians out. I'm not here to help any homeowners or any business owners that try to be wannabe electricians. Um, this is definitely for you guys that are master electricians and journeymen. Make sure you run yourself either ENT pipe. Okay, it's the blue smurf is our slaying. Or make sure that you use MC cable. Um, a couple quick things. This up here is like really, I don't know if it's like an R54 or what, but the insulation is like literally two foot thick all the way up this, this beam. It's probably more like 18 inches. But um, I, I had a hard time when I had the Romex through there, I had to pull it all back and then put ENT pipe and slide the Romex through it because the inspector failed it. Um, but just remind yourself that there's some other ways to bracket and hang things. I hope you can see this trying my best so this for instance is a great way to bracket coming across folding it and putting a tie strap that's a good way to keep the your ENT off of the uh, grid because you're supposed to do that and then you're supposed to tie your grid wire uh, to two sides of it put your hurricane clips up these are very really low flat LED profile um, fixture there is not a lot of other ways that we could figure out how to get the um, ENT through the insulation. And he also said don't put it up towards the deck and back down because of that condensation inside of that, which I can't see why with ENT or MC that would matter. Maybe MC. Um, but again, this is an approved method as we've come across. Uh, we made our loops fairly large so our fixtures can drop down. These LED fixtures by long light, they suck. They're on Amazon for 45 bucks. Uh, I can tell you right now that um, about 30% of them didn't come with the little fixture wire that was soldered that's like a, uh, a 20 gauge. And my wife said that half of them didn't, so we had to stab 12 gauge in there. Which next time I'll be using some two port or three or four port stab connectors and then extend with my own 14 gauge solid pigtails. Because when I did it 12 and I had to pull something out to redo, um, two of them broke, which is 10% of 20. You had two of them. They were really hard for us to try to fix. Um, so anyways, just to let you guys know, don't make that mistake I did. But here's what's so funny is this stuff is pre-existing. 